Medical Terminology, Lesson 13. Divisions of the Spinal Column. A vertebra is a bone that is found in the spine. There are many of these bones, collectively known as vertebrae, that compose the spinal column. There are five divisions of the spine. The cervical vertebrae are located in the neck region. There are seven cervical vertebrae labeled from C1 to C7. The abbreviation for cervical is C. The thoracic vertebrae make up the chest region. Each vertebrae is joined to a rib. The abbreviation for thoracic is T. The thoracic vertebrae are labeled from T1 to T12. The lumbar vertebrae in the waist region between the ribs and the hip bone are five vertebrae that compose the lumbar vertebrae. The abbreviation for lumbar is L. The lumbar vertebrae are labeled from L1 to L5. The sacral vertebrae. Five bones make up the sacral region. These bones are fused together and considered to be one bone, which is called the sacrum. The abbreviation for sacral is S, and the bones are labeled from S1 to S5. The coccygeal vertebrae. The tailbone is known as the coccyx. The coccyx is composed of four fused vertebrae. The view as a whole. Another type of disc. A disc, sometimes spelled D-I-S-C, is found between each vertebrae. It is a small pad composed of cartilage and water, and it acts as a shock absorber. Discs can move out of place and put pressure on a nerve. This is often referred to as a herniated disc or slip disc. This condition can cause pain in any area of the body that is affected by that nerve. The spinal column and spinal cord. The spinal column refers to the vertebrae. It is bone tissue. The spinal cord refers to the nerves that are surrounded by and protected by the spinal column. The spinal cord is nervous tissue. The spaces between the vertebrae where discs are located are known as intervertebral spaces. They are identified by the two vertebrae they are sandwiched between. If a space is between the fifth lumbar vertebra and the first sacral vertebra, it is identified as L5 to S1. If it is between the second and third thoracic vertebrae, it is known as T2 to 3. Positional and directional terms. Anterior. Anterior means the front of the body. A synonym of anterior is ventral. Example, your eyes are on the anterior side of the body. Posterior. Posterior means the back side of the body. A synonym of posterior is dorsal. Example, your ankle is posterior to your toes. Deep. Deep refers to away from the surface of the body. Example, the spear wound penetrated deep into the abdomen. Superficial. Superficial means on the surface. Example, a scraped knee is a superficial injury. Proximal. Proximal means near the beginning of a structure or near the point of attachment to the trunk. Example, the proximal end of the femur joins with the hip socket. Distal. Distal is the antonym of proximal. It means far from the point of attachment to the trunk or far from the beginning of a structure. Example, the distal end of the femur joins with the knee. 
inferior. Inferior means below another structure. Example, the feet are inferior to the knees. Speakers of other languages be advise you should be very careful when using this word. It is considered an insult or derogatory if you use it when referring to people. You do not want to say the patient is inferior to the balcony because it will have a totally different interpretation. I'd recommend only using it to refer to body parts and only to use it with other medical professionals and not when talking to patients or their families due to problems of your meaning being, being understood, misunderstood. Coddle also means below another structure. However, it often refers to the lower portion of the body or away from the head. It literally means pertaining to the tail. Superior. Superior means above another structure. An example of how this word would be used is the ears lie superior to the shoulders. Cephalic means pertaining to the head, but it also can mean above another structure. Medial. Medial means either pertaining to the middle or near the medial plane of the body. An example of how it would be used is the medial finger on the hand is the longest finger. Lateral. Lateral means pertaining to the side. An example of how it is used would be on the head the ears are lateral. Supine. Supine means lying on the back. An example of how it is used, the pregnant woman was lying supine on the examination table during the ultrasound. Prone. Prone means lying on the belly. An example of how it is used, the baby was laying pro in a prone position.